Yes, welcome to Berkeley Lab. Uh, my name is Sean Peiser. It's, um, uh, I work here. Um, uh, I would like to say that I'm your host, but uh, I've in fact done very little to uh, help organize this meeting. This uh, meeting has been uh, the work uh, of a cast of, of many, many hardworking people. Um, I would like to particularly acknowledge my colleague Jason Salinas, um, uh, the, the, the bus the breakfast burritos, the coffee, um, uh, everything else is, is his doing. And um, it's, uh, it's my pleasure to, uh, to thank him for that. Um, I, uh, I'm, I'm just gonna stand up here for a couple minutes and then cede the stage to others. Um, uh, so uh, I'm also, in addition to being your host here, uh, the deputy director uh, of Trusted CI uh, and uh, others from Trusted CI and currently uh, including the director, Jim Basney will also talk with you today. What is the Berkeley Lab? Uh, so we are a DOE national laboratory. Um, uh, we are an FFRDC sponsored by the DOE. Uh, there are 17 DOE national laboratories. Berkeley Lab is uh, the first. There's in fact a cluster of them here in the Bay Area, which include um, Lawrence Livermore. We call ourselves the Berkeley Lab, by the way, um, not uh, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory because everybody always got us confused with our friends in Livermore. I sometimes tell people we are the, the Lawrence lab that does not make nuclear weapons. Um, <clears throat> uh, we also have uh, Slack down the way, uh, adjacent Stanford and uh, uh, a portion of Sandia National Labor Laboratory here as well. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> there, uh, but uh, anyhow, <clears throat> uh, the national laboratories uh, are sponsored by different parts of the Department of Energy. Uh, the Berkeley lab is largely sponsored by the DOE Office of Science. Uh, that was performing basic and applied uh, sciences in, in uh, <clears throat> science and energy. Uh, there are also uh, the, uh, the weapons labs that are, are doing nuclear weapons research uh, and uh, Idaho National Lab that is doing um, um, nuclear power uh, research uh, and development uh, uh, and among other things as well. Um, er uh, the Berkeley Lab was found, founded by Ernest Lawrence, who was a professor of physics um, in uh, <clears throat> in the 30s um, and uh, he started doing team science and started building big instruments uh, like uh, his uh, his particle accelerators uh, got too big for campus and so they said go build it on the side of that hill up there it's all yours uh, and so he did um, uh, you might um, uh, not recognize this face but you might recognize a similar face uh, in the recent oppenheimer film of which ernest lawrence also had uh, a part as well um, these days, um, Berkeley Lab continues its long tradition in team science of, of uh, large-scale instrumentation, um, which include the advanced light source here, which currently sits under the dome of, of Lawrence's original cyclotron, um, the NERSC uh, supercomputing user facility ESNet, which is the DOE network backbone uh, connecting all of the DOE national labs together and also peering with uh, Internet2 and other research and education networks around the country and around the world. Um, the Molecular Foundry and uh, a number of other important uh, and valuable user facilities enabling, again, large scale team science as well. Um, we continue to solve base basic uh, problems in science, energy and security. <clears throat> the Berkeley Lab uh, on paper has uh, about uh, 3,600 FTE, lots of joint faculty. We swell in the summer as the students uh, uh, come up the hill from, from Cal as well as from around the country, there's a very large outreach from the Berkeley Lab to underserved inst institutions and a lot of diversity, equity, inclusion, and, and accountability uh, efforts that go along with that as well. A huge amount of facility users, uh, some of whom come here to the Berkeley Lab to do their work and also around the world as well. Uh, if you walk around the Berkeley Lab, <clears throat> uh, you'll notice uh, some uh, interesting um, uh, uh, map uh, 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 interest, uh, which is that all of our streets are named after Berkeley Lab Nobel Prize winners as well. <clears throat> to my knowledge, we've run out of streets, so we're going to have to build some new streets the next time we, we uh, win a Nobel Prize. <clears throat> um, as I say, we are the home of NERSC and ESNet, and uh, my colleague uh, Adam Slagle, uh, the Chief Information Security Officer for ESNet, I know we'll also uh, uh, talk to you a little bit later as well and tell you uh, a little bit about uh, ESNet and uh, its importance. And um, again, the Joint Genome Institute, the Joint Bioenergy Institute, um, uh, the quantum information science work uh, that we're doing here as well are all port uh, important user facilities uh, for Berkeley Lab scientists and scientists from around the world. Uh, computing sciences serves a supporting role here, as it does, I'm sure, for many of the organizations that you work for. We support the science to make it happen. Um, yes, we do some basic computer science research here, but uh, by, by and large, 
there's a problem, or uh, in some case, science doesn't even know there's a problem, and we are here to help try and solve it, to, to make science work better, to enable science that otherwise couldn't happen, to make science work faster. That's that's the point of getting bigger supercomputers and, and uh, higher throughput networks and, and so on. Uh, and it's all, all about uh, accessibility to the broad science community. Uh, we do, uh, as I say, some work in applied math, uh, computer science, um, uh, algorithms, languages, uh, and so on. Again, uh, all, all in support of getting the science done. How could we make a programming language that biologists can use better uh, to get to get their job done? What do they need to do? Um, we do work in scientific data uh, that is increasingly important. Uh, in uh, the early days of, of computing at the DOE National Labs, it was modeling and simulation. It is very much data now, uh, more and more data. Uh, kind of the canonical examples of that are some of the astrophysics work and of course uh, the, uh, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Um, we run NERSC, the primary HPC center for the DOE Office of Science, uh, which is in the basement of uh, 59, the building that you, you uh, some of you have been in uh, for uh, the past day and uh, will continue to be in uh, over the, the coming days um, that supports more than uh, 8,000 scientists uh, um, uh, uh, each year. Uh, as I say, ESNet uh, provides cap the capabilities for collaborative science. Uh, this is an increasingly important thing uh, where it's not just science in one facility, but an interconnected facility. Uh, of uh, science and compute uh, uh, instrumentation. I'll let, uh, of course, Adam tell you more about that in a little bit. Uh, and last, before I turn it over to my colleague, Jeanette, to uh, introduce our next speaker, um, I just wanted to show you a little map of the Berkeley Lab. You're getting a very small slice as you came up the shuttle buses. Um, and um, uh, I hope you enjoy where you are. Uh, it's by far the, be the best view of any DOE national lab. Uh, and uh, it's, uh, I know it's a pleasure for me to come here and I hope uh, that you enjoy the next few days um, and, um, you know, take, take in some views of the bridge when the, the fog clears and uh, um, by all means, um, enjoy your time here and let us know if there's anything we can do to make your stay uh, more enjoyable.